So you want better tone, don't we all? Better tone on the harmonica means, well, maybe you're getting kind of an airy quality. Get your tongue out of the way. Just like on the excerpt, the common question of my two draw sounds airy or flat. Our tongue is commonly the one issue. It sounds like there's air leaking out the lips, but you can't feel it. It's actually the inefficiency of your embouchure to be able to direct all the air through the reed. Basically, the, the simple fact is, is our tuning of our mouth affects the vibration of the reed. And proof of that is how bending works. So your tongue is humped up in a spot that is basically not allowing that reed, not allowing all the air that's going through the harmonica to be able to vibrate that reed. The first thing to do is to make sure the tongue's out of the way. And when we play, in general, we drop our jaw and we think like we're yawning. Yawning drops the jaw, raises the soft palate, closes off the nasal tract so we're not leaking air in or out of the nose. It opens up the throat. Everything is nice and open, and that's what we're looking at, looking for when we play on the harmonica. Even when we're bending, all the different things we're doing, and it does take time to work on getting everything open, but that's the key element, is to keep everything open and warm, like you're fogging a mirror, whether you're doing a blow or a draw on the harmonica, to keep everything open. The, ch the challenging part is you can't see where your tongue is at, and almost all the time, it's the location of the tongue in the mouth. If you are a pucker player, Try to drop your jaw and think of more of an oval. If you're tongue blocking, same thing. Try to make sure everything is open. Pucker players will have more issues with tone because they're trying to pucker out to a note. So try opening your mouth more and tilting the harmonic a little bit so you're finding that single note more in the bottom lip, for example. Allows you to be more open instead of that pursed method. And that's another reason why tongue blocking is king when it comes to tone, because it allows your embouchure to be nice and large. So that's a big thing. The other thing about tone is technique. Are you achieving good tone via the techniques we have to offer as well? A lot of times someone will say, wow, that guy's got great tone. They're also talking about how they're presenting those notes. So the difference might be poor tone, I'm puckering, my jaw is raised up, my tongue is humped up, so the whole thing is raised too high in the mouth, and I'm getting a very thin sound. If I drop the jaw, fish face a little bit more, tilt the harmonica, I'm able to get great tone. Tongue block, you're not going to hear any difference if you've got the jaw dropped and the tongue dropped. Warm air coming in and out of the harmonica, then tongue block or pucker, you're, gonna get, you're going to be able to get good tone either way. But a lot of times when people are talking about tone, they're talking about something like this, tongue slaps. They're hearing that technique as, wow, this is a great sound, octave. That's also a technique aspect of tone. So that's something to keep in mind. And also, good tone through the amplifier has to do with cupping. So you may want to take a look at that common question as well as how to achieve a good tone through uh, cupping a bullet microphone.